A triple homicide in Crestview Saturday left behind some other victims. Shana McGrath and four dogs. One was killed and two were spared while a fourth is fighting for her life. Channel 3's Jacqueline Kelly has the story. When deputies discovered the carnage inside this Crestview home, they were touched to find one four-legged shooting victim still clinging to life. Jasmine, a 10-year-old Weimariner. And they do know that her jaw is shattered in five places. Um, and the um, one of her legs, the, the small bone in the upper part of her leg has been um, shattered. And there appears to be a hole but no bullet in the large bone. The dog was rushed to the emergency veterinarian clinic in Niceville where she was stabilized. The Emerald Coast Animal Hospital in Mary Esther has her now and so far things are looking good. She really has that will to live and her injuries are more um, something we just need to repair. She didn't have an internal injury. Dee Thompson with the Panhandle Animal Welfare Society says the community has donated $3,000, enough to guarantee Jasmine will have several surgeries that could cost up to $10,000. She says deputies told her the dog's injuries indicated she'd been shot protecting her owner, a fact not lost on Thompson as she visited the ailing canine. But all she was laying on um, a cot there and uh, she, <laughs> her, she was wagging her tail and she lifted up her head as to look at me and said I really tried. Jasmine will have surgery in Dothan and she's not only a gritty survivor, she's evidence against the man charged with murder and animal cruelty. And there still are um, bullets inside her that the Sheriff's Department needs. A husky mix in the home was killed while two Yorkies, Tinkerbell and Mika, were not hurt and are being adopted by a family friend. And thanks to the outstanding vet care and a caring public, there's a good chance Jasmine will see them again. Jacqueline Kelly, Channel 3 News.